Greetings from the completely insane Edinburgh Fringe Festival. I'm currently on Southbridge. We're gonna see whether or not you can hear me at all during this ramblings, but hopefully you'll get a taste of the crowds of people coming in and out of Edinburgh for the Fringe Festival. There are plays, there are shows, there's music, there's comedy sketches all over the city, all of the churches, all of the halls, all of the street corners has got some kind of performance going on. Um, I'm finally here. Ta-da! Sorry, that was a long time without a ramblings. Um, my dissertation is now submitted and I am free of house guests um, for the next two weeks that I'm in Edinburgh and then I moved down to London for the PhD. So it is about time to say hello. Uh, there will be a lot of ramblings coming up um, since I'm just packing and desperately looking for things to avoid packing. I also, of course, just submitted the dissertation and of course I was supposed to talk to you about the dissertation all summer while I was writing it. <clears throat> that didn't happen, either the talking to you about it or the writing it all summer, but <laughs> it mostly happened at the end of the summer. Um, anyway, but I'll do a recap on it and talk to you about what I did on my dissertation on statehood and international environmental agreements, grand fun, um, and then also hopefully report all of the things that I did over this summer, which were many and varied with multiple people. Grand times. I've had a request um, for a, a ramblings on the archaeology of the Orkney Islands, which I was at, and um, where I found some family gravestones. Um, so I'll I probably have to read up for that one. I know I'm not supposed to prepare the ramblings. I think I'm going to have to prep if I'm supposed to be lecturing on Orkney archaeology. I don't really know it that well. Um, but lots of really cool stuff. We saw some, stepping sta or some standing stones that have been there longer than the pyramids um, at Giza. So, grand stuff. That will happen. Uh, today I am off to uh, see my first Edinburgh Fringe show, actually. I haven't been to any of them properly yet. Um, but I've got a mate up from Norwich who is um, doing a relaxed version of the show, the puppet show, um, that's an adaptation of a fairy tale. The Erk King? The Ank King? I don't know. It was when I didn't know, but it's going to be very exciting. Um, anyway, so Puppet Theatre, they're doing a relaxed uh, show today at noon um, for uh, autistic kids and families. Um, so it's going to be specially situated and include uh, extra breaks and explanations and that kind of thing. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with that. And then uh, she and I are going to Potted Sherlock, which is claiming to do all 60 Sherlock stories in 70 minutes. That will be quite exciting. Sadly, I don't believe Benedict Cumberbatch will be there, but it will be fun nonetheless uh, for various Sherlockians. Um, in the meantime, Edinburgh continues to bustle. This is not really the city that I know. Um, right now you're just seeing the Northbridge side. Um, there's all kinds of people everywhere. Up by the castle is a grand stadium that hosts the Edinburgh Royal Military Tattoo. I think I've switched the words around. Anyway, a big military performance every evening and then lots of fireworks. So. There's been a lot of <laughs> guests and shouts and loud noises every evening around my normally quite quiet city, um, but that's okay. It's preparing me for London, which happens in a few weeks. Um, so I haven't hit the five minute mark yet, but given that you probably can't hear me anyway, I will sign off and promise to be back soon with actual content. In the meantime, hello from Edinburgh.